Thank you. No. Queen. No, move, move, move. Free move. Let's wow. go. All right, I'm and they're off. Stressful. <laughs> I'm losing hair, you guys. This is crazy. All right, game two. Okay, E4, E5. Good, Dennis. We okay. prepared this. Yes, we prepared this too. Good. Nice. Bishop out first. Ah, uh, he's good. Okay, he's going yeah, for like this. this. We did not prepare this necessarily, but it's okay. 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 Hopefully he can uh, sort through this opening. I was debating teaching him this, but I didn't want to overwhelm him. Okay. 56 is terrible. Okay, good. Listen, listen. It's not that bad. He hasn't blundered anything. Terrible. Okay. Terrible move. Okay. So you guys, we know why this bishop uh, going back is bad. It restricts the the opening of of the d pawn that opens the bishop. It's also just a passive bishop that is basically a pawn at this point. And so, okay, we just need to continue development. Bishop g five is a good shot here. I I like knight b d two. I like as well. Yeah, just get your king safe, prioritize it, and then go from there. Then this this threw Dennis off a little bit too. Okay, taking, which is nice. Okay, opening up the yeah. center when our pieces were more passive is beneficial for us. Bishop mm -hmm. takes e5, brilliant, nice. And now this allows d6 to happen, which again opens up this bishop, so the, we're, we're in the clear for now. So we're almost up a minute, which is not much given it's the start of the game. However, it does indicate that white is a little out of their, out of their kind of comfort or, or book. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe. Okay, kings are safe, nice. Now it's going to be a battle for the center, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Just kind of finish that development. That's super important. We talked about it, too, so hopefully he can apply the same moves. Nice, d6. Nice move. I'm sensing this bishop is going to get trapped soon, so let's hope that happens. Nice. Come on, Kev. Who's Kevin? Kevin is the opponent. <laughs> Raphael, you just switched. <laughs> He he knows what's up. He knows who the better player is. <laughs> Last minor piece to come out. Nice. I like the move. You don't have to trade Dennis. You can also move your bishop back. Knight f3. I like that. I don't like it. Bishop g4 is a nice move. It's not easy to find yeah. bishop g4, but yeah. if it was found, that's a really nice. You just play this bishop as well. So we'll that's see true. if that happens. The odds are kind of low, I guess, but that would be a nice move. He finds it very surprising. It's an extraordinary find, if he does. He did because... find King B7 in that endgame, though. So I'm not putting King it B... past him. King B7 is an outrageous move. Yeah, even outrageous. I did not... That was not my first... Oh my god. Bro. Who is this, Who is this guy? What's his real rating? <laughs> what is going on? Oh my god. This guy is actually unreal. Dennis is okay. You can get up... <laughs> you can get up. We talked about this mentally, right? It's okay to be pressured against. You just have to look at it rationally. Okay, pro literally provoking move. what Black wants to do. Oh, actually, okay. If he took with oh, the knight, yeah. he would have been able to win a pawn. But this mm -hmm. is also fine. Okay, now, isolate a pawn, double pawns. King is completely exposed. So, point your pieces towards the targets and try to pressure them. That's what Black should be trying to prioritize here. For starters, something like this is powerful. Kind of subtle, but also improving their position. Nice! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, how is he going to try to break through on the king's side here? Look at your is, opponent's plan. Is white going to even see the threat? Because it's kind of like a little sniper. Look at your opponent's last move. Every move means something. Mm -hmm. Come on, Dennis. I believe in you. Always look for your opponent's threats, but Dennis, you can take a pass on that one. Take an off day. <laughs> yeah, oh. set four. Great wait, move. oh my god, wait. There's a tactic here. There's, Where? wait, does it work? Okay. With knight there's... g4, bishop f4, bishop f4, Davina at the end. Oh, that's true. Queen takes h3, takes knight g4, bishop f4. Hmm. Not that I'll, he'll find bishop f4, but I think it's, <laughs> if it's the only move, I think he will. Let's see. Is I okay? Is black gonna see that, or are they just gonna move? The, it doesn't matter what they do. Like they can just move the knight back, or they can go for this. But they, if they're gonna take on h3, he has to see this follow up. If not, 
it's going for the stack without any compensation, which is not what you want to do. So let's see. I think see. knight g6 is going to be played, and then queen f3, and then it's going to be level again. Potentially. Uh, but queen takes h3 would be a surprising shot, not the first surprising move that your opponent does. If if queen takes h3 is played and the sequence works out black's favor and white falls under the pressure, like that's going to be a brilliant game. I don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. I mean, even if this knight just moves back, right, to c6 but even or g6, like e4 and h3 are under threat, so white needs to find a move to defend both. Queen f3. Queen f3. Queen f5 is good. Okay, now... F5. It prevents the queen takes h3. That's really okay. nice. So the knight could hop back, which kind of provokes f4, but then maybe the king's side is kind of exposed, so not sure what he's going to go for. Okay, he goes back. All right. F4. He's straight yeah. up F4. <laughs> F4 is aggressive, <laughs> but it also blocks in white's dark square bishop. Yeah, we don't care. <laughs> Gotta be a little Let's careful. Let's go! Attack! Dennis, burn the boats. Go for it. We have one shot at equalizing. Take it. F3 is good. Solid. Okay. Good. Solid guy. All around guy. Sticks up for himself. Good. C5. Okay. Aggressive play. D6 becomes a backwards pawn, but it's not easy to defend. And I like uh, this idea. Trying to. Dennis, develop. Develop. G4. Bishop G5. We want to see Bishop G5. Okay. Up on time. If we keep this lead, this is good. Dennis needs to develop. There's no real threat behind c5. Hmm. This is the but type of move. Where... Oh, f4. Okay. But that's two moves in a row of the same. Well, okay. Four f pawn move is in a row. That's a, that's always sus. Oh, that's actually funny. Okay. Now, knight moves back. We are threatening this pawn again. Attack! Queen f3! <laughs> pawn, the e4 pawn's a target, so try to keep pressuring that target as much as you can. Yes, Dennis cannot let go of that e4 weakness right there. And that yeah. pawn is recently undefended, newly divorced. You have to take care of it. If e4 falls, these two double pawns become extremely weak. Because they have no support around. Oh my god! I don't like that. Free pawn! I don't like that. Free pawn! I don't like that. Don't like that. <laughs> the type of move Please. that is played when you don't when you don't look at what your opponent is threatening every move. He's nervous. He's How nervous. does your opponent's move affect the safety of their other pieces? Yes! Oh my god, you're playing so well. I actually have no words right now. This does not feel like I'm watching an under thousand match. Okay, and when e4 is taken, f5 is also falling. So White has to watch it for that now too. Okay, we'll like take that. it. We'll take it. Bishop pair is that, gone. Done. That was a good bishop. Good. So long. Oh my god, and he takes yeah. with the b-pawn. It supports this d5 pawn push. So instead of this pawn just being a backwards pawn on its own, it now has at least some support here, this little island. Which is totally fine. And he's still pressuring this pawn, which is great, honestly. Play something like this, maybe? Looking good. Queen g4, not bad. That's what we've been wanting for four moves. This is good. We finally go. Better late than never, chat. Better late than never. The thing is, Dennis, again, in this game, is not developing as fast as he should. Here, the bishop is still on c1, which means the rook has real trouble getting into this game. Mm-hmm. Honestly, okay, I like this move. Imagine he plays f6. Oh, oh my, my god, god, please see this. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, wait, free no, pawn. No, actually not 1,000. What? Wait, <laughs> what is this guy? I'm Girl, checking the profile. You fix someone's openings and they turn into a completely different person. I drilled into him to ask himself what his opponent's threat is every time they make a move. And you can see it here that he is taking the time to ask himself those questions. And it's paying off. He's seeing the threats. I looked through his chess.com games and he was dropping pieces left and right. And so I drilled that into him. Those simple questions can save you so much in your games. This is great. Just gotta make sure the knight doesn't get trapped on g4. But I think we should be good. Tough times, you guys. But it's not over till it's over. <laughs> okay. Just down two pawns. We're also up half the time. Okay, now he finally develops the bishop. I mean, a lot of things work here. You can try to... Alright, f6 is fine. 
Six is such a good move. How is he finding that? I would have preferred like Ricky too. I think he's just trying to maybe open up the rook. Okay, rook takes, and I mean, you got two open rooks now, which is amazing. I mean, this is not 900 level play <laughs> at all, in my opinion. I think he's playing wow. a lot better than 900. His games before the lesson were 900 play. These games are like 1400 play right here. Yeah. Yeah. Rev, this is at amazing. Least. What is going on? I mean, Dennis is also playing way above his level too. The only difference is he's Kevin has capitalized on the minimum mistakes that he has made. That's exactly. honestly the difference, which like, is crazy. Because, like, Dennis hasn't even, like, blundered big pieces. He blundered, like, a no, pawn or two. No, he's playing, like, okay. Yeah, yeah. he blundered the pawn at most. <laughs> okay, this is a brilliant move. What the heck? Turning the bishop, and none of the rooks can defend this bishop. So, and then like, rook g6 is coming in. Oh, my God. It, oh, are we going to see a checkmate on the board soon? Did or you is he... feed him something? <laughs> like, what did you give him? I fed him a 30-minute master class. Uh-huh. Dennis, keep calm, carry on, look at the threat, defend, even though your piece is going to be passive here. Rook D1, it looks Less like Less than a minute on the options. Oh Bain my god. Bain he has resigned. What? I need to see the game review on this. Oh my, own my god. resigned. Oh no. Never oh resigned, my god. Dennis. You can always win. We talked about this. 85%. You're down two pawns. Accuracy. That was a masterpiece. I taught him a masterpiece in 30 minutes and he delivered a masterpiece on the board two games in a row kevin we are so like proud of you <laughs> that was he he was he played so good that was actually not fair ggs to both dennis obviously played very well no big blunders from either side honestly just black was or not black but kevin was on his a game in both games and managed to capitalize on the minimum kind of opportunities that dennis gave him yeah I think uh, both, for what it's worth, both play both players played really, really well. Uh, way above their levels in both games. I mean, the first game was really, really quality, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, and just, yeah, your guy was on top. Maybe we do this again sometime. Thank you. Yes, for sure. Once you've settled in, we'll definitely have to do this again. You take care. Cheers.